Recently, YouTube has been conducting an experiment where 3% of all YouTube users will see an auto-generated thumbnail like this one in here. In this video, we will explain how YouTube is able to do that from a software engineering point of view because we this is a, uh, this channel is all about software engineering, and I'll add my comment about this experiment at the end of this video. Stay tuned. What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from IGM3, where we discuss software engineering by example. And in order to uh, understand what how the auto-generated the YouTube thumbnail experiment works, we need to know how basically what happens when you go to YouTube to begin with, right? So YouTube, as you know, right, is it's not just a single website, or YouTube.com. There are a lot of servers at the back end that serves you obviously in order to scale all these like millions and billions of users so in order to do that like this is this is your user you only know youtube.com you'd go to the browser or use the app and that app will connect to youtube.com so youtube will put a what we call a reverse proxy so that the reverse proxy this is the the front end server that you all clients communicate through like so okay i'm going to connect to the youtube.com this is this is the server so what this does is it will distribute the load to server 1 and server 2 and server 3 in usually random fashion or based based on the load like if there are a lot of users connecting to this server it will shift you to other servers like this has different ip addresses different uh, different location based on where you're connecting from as well right so usually usually these servers are identical in in in, uh, in content wise right so uh, if you connect to this application on the the server or this application this application they are completely stateless they're completely identical right so if I connect to you to this server this server this server you'll get the exactly the same result should get the same result right however so what is happening here is if YouTube want to experiment something, right, to certain users only, what they will do is like they will change one of those servers and they're going to put a special application on that server. So it's, the, it's still the same server, right? It's the still the same, it's, it does the same job, but it slightly tweaks it. Like what they did here is they changed one of those servers to include the thumbnail experiments which okay ignore all the current thumbnail and always when the user requests a video uh always auto generate a thumbnail right so that's that's the simple thing so so what happens here if you connect to youtube and the reverse proxy here will have some logic says hey by the way three percent of all the connection that goes to you please route them to this server right and the rest goes to the to the rest of the servers this is obviously not three right there are like thousands and thousands of servers for YouTube so if you are one of the unlucky three percent you will be routed to this server which has a special application logic that auto generates uh, a YouTube uh, uh, thumbnail and then will return for you the new thumbnail generated so so you could this is not by user per se I, the way i would implement it is like basically it will be stateless at the moment you will refresh you could be you could be you could hit here the next request you could just go to another user so it's not just you they don't actually target users i don't think so they just your request right your refresh that that refresh or that request or that video you visit you happen to hit this server Right. If you happen to hit this server, you'll get the auto-generated thumbnail. If you happen to hit the 97%, you will get the basically your your, uh, your thumb uh, your your custom thumbnail. So, so that being said, that's, that's how it works, right? So that being said, in my, my opinion, uh, you can always uh, experiment with these uh, canary deployment. That's that's what they call it, canary deployment or A/B testing. So, in my opinion, if if we want to experiment with that, people put a lot of uh, work in their custom thumbnail. I mean, I am not, uh, I'm not really an expert in YouTube, right? I'm not really a heavy YouTuber. I mean, I've been making videos for four years, but I'm not as 
people that are doing it daily and and i see people put a lot of work on those custom thumbnail right and then they they use all these techniques and just to to, to build this custom thumbnail they know you're their subscribers they've been investing in knowing understanding their th subscribers so they can attract them with this custom thumbnail and then youtube under under the carpet just change that even if the three person that's a lot of people right a lot of requests i'm not gonna say people a lot of requests so people users on uh, youtube are not directing people they're targeting requests they don't really care about the actual users right it's just like it's a it's a request per per request thing i think uh so to auto, just wipe that out and just auto generate it, no matter how good that auto generated thumbnail. I mean, I have auto generated thumbnail as like a, my 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 face looks weird or my eyes are closed. I mean, obviously the the machine learning algorithm they are using maybe it's better than that, but I would suggest that the way I would do it is if a user selected a custom thumbnail for their youtube video please leave it alone if a user did not right a lot of people just up upload an auto generated thumbnail and they don't build a thumbnail and they just like use an auto auto generated one of those three when you upload videos right if that if that's the case by all means do your experiment but if i've uploaded a custom thumbnail Please leave it alone, <laughs> right? It's very simple. I, I, I don't know why we're gonna touch that part. Like, if I build a custom thumbnail, then I know what I'm doing, right? If if my videos has an auto-generated thumbnail, then feel free to experiment on those. At least, that's my opinion. All right, guys, that's all for me today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're new to this channel and you like software engineering and you like all this technical stuff, uh, uh, explore the uh, YouTube channel. Consider subscribing. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Have a great day.